Sexual assault, including rape, is an extremely important public health problem in the United States. We know that nearly one in five women will be raped in her lifetime. Any new technology that you can use to identify injuries on the victim during the forensic nurse examination that will usually occur right after the sexual assault is going to be vital to the prosecution. Right now, we have a problem uh, seeing injuries on dark-skinned women. The blue dye we use works by providing contrast um, between the bright blue of the dye and the lighter skin around it. However, if the skin is itself dark, then the dye does not, in fact, help us to see these injuries. Um, we know through a number of research studies that um, nurses and physicians are finding fewer injuries in dark-skinned women, and uh, we have good reason to think that that's simply a matter of the technology that we're using. So the outcome of having that documentation, meaning being able to see injuries on women of color, would mean that you would have more cases that would be able to be prosecuted within the criminal justice system. And when you have more prosecution and more cases, chances are you'll have more convictions. And that leads to justice for women of color. Well, I have been a forensic nurse for about 14 years and have experienced firsthand the frustration of not being able to um, easily identify injuries in dark-skinned women. In trying to think of dyes that would work across all skin tones, realize that a fluorescent dye would uh, fit the bill. I guess the, you know, whenever you're thinking about designing something that's gonna interact with the human body, you need to think about biocompatibility, you need to think about sterility, you need to think about usability. Is it something that the patient's going to tolerate? Is it something that the nurse is going to find easy to use? So all of these aspects come into the design of a chemical that you're actually going to apply to a patient uh, in order to reveal very small tears or abrasions that occur um, following a rape. Right now, we are hoping to raise about $19,000. That's going to help us uh, do the laboratory testing that we need, purchase a piece of equipment that we need called a colorimeter that will allow us to accurately measure skin color, and that's going to make it so that our results can be easily reproduced by other researchers, and it's going to lend some real scientific credibility to the work. Supporting this project is going to help us achieve justice for all victims of sexual assault.